Flowers can be ordered for the deceased right from the Book of Memories, and it can be a revenue generator for you. Now, first of all, I'd like to show you what visitors to the site can do. So we'll go over to a Book of Memories. And you'll notice that they can send flowers right from the tunnel page for the Book of Memories. But we're going to go inside. And as you scroll down the list of options here, you'll see that there is an option to send flowers. Should the visitor click on that, they'll see that the funeral home is going to assist you in ordering flowers for Viola Anderson. All you have to do is click to order flowers, and it takes right to the florist one page. How do we set that up? We'll go back to the IMS, go over to System Settings, and in your list of options, look for this, BOM Flower Order Settings. Click on that, and you'll see you have several options here. You can disable flower ordering in the Book of Memories completely, so no one could order flowers on your site. You can specify your own flower service. If you have local florists that you've always used and you want to continue using them and direct people to them, you can basically set up your flower page in your website and then put the URL in here. And then if someone clicks on send flowers, it'll go back to your flower page and have a list of your local florists. Or if you prefer, you can choose the florist one option. And that loads all your details that are already in the back end. What you have to do, obviously, is read through this, and you'll see that you do make 20% commission on flower sales through Florist One. You have to sign up as a Florist One affiliate. If you click on that, it'll take you to this page. We're not going to go through all the gory details right here, but you will want to read through this. Get your Florist One affiliation. Once you have that set, you come back and you would drop it in here, your Florist One Affiliate ID. You need that so they know who they're paying, obviously. Once that's done, you can select what is going to be available for people to order. You probably want to leave this wide open as to the, as so they can select anything they like, or you can narrow it down to specific arrangements that you do prefer. You can also let Florist One decide which FTD florists in your area to use. Okay, they do have a list of them, obviously. Or you can choose your preferred florist by clicking on that. It's loading all the details. Your uh, state province should default in here as long with your city from the system settings. Now you want to choose your preferred florist and there will be a list of FTD florists in your area. We're going to choose that for our preferred one. Now we do strongly suggest that you choose a second choice. They'll only use your number one preferred choice all the time unless they can't connect with them for some reason there's a lack of communication then they will go to your second choice that's why they strongly suggest you do have a second choice in there they'll rarely have to be used but in emergencies just in case someone wants to order flowers you don't want them being upset that they can't get through florist one charges a service charge of 12.99 per order you can that goes to them completely but you can add an extra service charge in here if you want to add an extra five dollars for your service charge, they'll put that in there. Or you can leave it set at zero, or you can put it in at 10, whatever you prefer. If you want an extra service charge in there, you're more than welcome to put that in. Once you have this all set up, make sure that you save your settings. And then, as I showed you, when people go into a book of memories and they want to send flowers, it's going to take them to the Florist One page. They'll order it. Florist One looks after it all. You'll get your extra service charge on there if uh, you put that in and you'll also get your 20% commission on all orders through your site. Now if you have any questions on how this all works, any concerns whatsoever, just contact your project manager at Frontrunner Professional or you can send an email with your questions to support at frontrunner360.com.